Hey everyone, I am before I do a showdown video, basically sorry that I haven't been around all too much, I've had stuff come up, but basically, um, thingy, I'm going to try and do more of a balance of drawing and competitive battles on the channel, because I enjoy both of them, it's just, you know, like, I kind of want to get better at drawing, and the only way to do that is practice, but like, if I upload it, then, you know, we're gonna have like a record almost of how I've been doing. So um, that's the thing, and yeah, this is gonna be a balanced Hackmons video, I've been probably playing at more than OU or any of the normal tiers lately, but there we go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, as you can see already, it's like 4 out of 6 is dragon type. I was, oh well, 3, but it, Arceus is complicated. Um, basically, it was originally going to be a mono dragon type team for Hackmons, but then I realized Shedinja and Registeel are basically the main, like, parts of Hackmons. So anyway, um, first one is going to be Mega Salamence, it's, green. it's shiny and green because why not. Um, decided to try running the gut set, I saw this on... Mega Lucario before, and then it's Salamence, so in my opinion Salamence is cooler, you, you're entitled to your own, but, so we have Guts Flame Orb, um, I used to think that Flame Orb just, like, nullified Guts, but I guess ignoring burn half in physical damage just means as well as boosting, I don't know, um, so yeah, Guts Flame Orb, we got Protect, so I can get burnt first turn, um, and we have Dragon Hammer and Brave Bird, and Facade, because Flame Orb, because Facade act is actually really good, unless you're against a Ghost type, but like, if you Guts Flame Orb, people... I think people run it a lot on Ursa Ring, because it actually gets, like, a combination of Guts Facade, but I don't know. Anyway, so we got full attack, full speed, full special defense, and we got Shenron Mega Rayquaza, um, obviously generic country set, you see this all the time in Hack Mountains. Um, decided to try Leftovers, because I don't think I've done that before. And then we have Draco Meteor and Dragon Ascent as the main stab. And we have V Create because it's OP. Or well, not OP, but it 108 base power, come on. And then super power to boost attack, because that's a thing. And then yeah, full attack for HP and for special attack for Dra Draco Meteor. Now here's where it gets complicated, I decided I wanted to try Arceus, because you see it around a bit, but I'd never actually used one, so basically I made it so that Rayquaza would be more physically oriented, and Arceus would be more specially oriented. Um, the only thing with Arceus is if you, like, you can make it dragon type or, like, whatever type, and then if you change the item, then it look, it still looks like a dragon type, but it acts as a normal type. I'm not sure if it still gets stab on Draco Meteor or not, but that's a thing. And we have Contrary, it's basically, like, a special variant of the Rayquaza set, 
And we've got Draco Meteor, Leaf Storm over here, and Scold. I couldn't think of a water type move that would that's like really strong and lowers your stats. So I'll just use Scold instead because it's 100 accuracy and base Scold burn, so yeah. Um, full speed, full special attack, you know. And we got St Stan V. It, it's like an anagram of Satan. But you know, um, Satan and Sansa are like, they, if you rejumble Santa, it makes, it makes Satan. That's uh, like, Luminati confirm. <laughs> anyway, so Intimidate, because I thought it fit, and Rayquaza, uh, Rayquaza, Giratina is pretty bulky, from what I remember. I haven't actually used one, but then we have Life Orb, because, yeah. And Shadow Force, Dragon Hammer, Foul Play, and Circle Throw. Circle Throw is if something gets... Wait, I just realised, um... What is it called? Spectral Thief. Just gonna change this last minute. Okay, cool. So, Spectral Thief and Dragon Hammer. Spectral Thief works well with if you're against like a country man or something, you can just rub its stats. And then you don't have to worry about it like sweeping your whole team. And it's also base 90 power, so tends to help it. Dragon Hammer is just generic dragon type move, it's stronger than Dragon Claw, so that's the reason I'm running it. And then foul play because you see a lot of Pokemon that set up quite a lot with, like I said, contrary. So, foul play seems like it would be good. And circle throw, I guess, to just... I don't know, I think it's... From memory, I put it there to deal with Registeel. Because Registeel is actually used quite a lot in this thing. And here's where it starts like not be a mono dragon team. I have Sturdy Shedinja to set up spikes and stuff. And it can deal with like Imprison Blissey and stuff. Imprison Transform Blissey. Um, also just anything or most things that isn't Mega Gengar. I thought I put Stone Edge on this but I guess not. Um, Stone Edge, not Stone Edge, Stealth Rock. Here we go. Stealth Rock. Um, so yeah, you can't really do much with EV for Shedinja. I mean, you can have speed sort out speed stuff, and the attacking stat it uses, that's literally all that matters. Because even if you do 252 and HP, it's still going to be 1. And if you only have 1 HP, defense doesn't do anything for you. So... Yeah, um, that's that. And we have Registeel. It's called Booty Guy because it was the whole controversy about the sprite that looked like it was doing a Nazi salute and obviously the whole Wall Street Journal thing. So this is basically something you tend to see quite a bit as Flash Fire Mega Caesar. So I decided to kind of like rob that idea for Registeel. And we've got Focus Sash so it can always attack. And we have Spectral Thief, like I said. Toxic Spikes in case Shedinja can't get them off. Iron Head for Stab and Topsy Turvy in case something just sets up a bunch. Again, you live whatever it hits you with because Focus Sash. And then you can just invert it. Topsy Turvy is actually really helpful. But people tend to forget it exists because it's like Malamar's signature move and no one really remembers it unfortunately, but whatever. So yeah, basically just bulky physical attacker. So yeah, let's just get into the first... Get into... Oh gosh, what is all of this? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. 
Hi again everyone, I'm back. Um, basically what it was saying was that, or what I think it was saying, I haven't tested it out yet, was that apparently you can just max out as many EVs as you want. So like, I mean, it never told me this before, but I guess this is a thing now. I don't know. So, I mean, we'll try it out. It looks like it hasn't came back with an error message, so... That tends to help, I've heard. <laughs> hmm. So, here we go. Good luck, have fun as always. And that lead was your danger. Surprise, can't yeah, lead and was your danger. But there we go. Um, I think I'm going to Toxic Spikes, because we don't have a Grounded Poison type. And then Stealth Rock. And then if I live with Stealth Rock, I'll just go for another. Or if I live after the Stealth Rock, I can just go for another Toxic Spikes. Because hell yeah. But yeah, on a completely unrelated note, how have you guys been enjoying, I guess that's a Levitate Gyarados, I don't know, um, how have you guys been enjoying, what you call it, the, um, Gen 2 of Pokemon Go? Because, I mean, so far I've been doing pretty well, like, I mean, from memory... I've gotten Think Me Bob. I the I think it was two days ago I got a Gramble. Then the day after that I got a Miss Maggie Miss Miss Trevus. I can't remember, I posted it all on my Twitter. Um Oh okay. That's a thing then. I'm surprised, normally you see that on, like, whatchamacallit, blissy sets, because it's bulkier. Eh, whatever. Can't do anything now, can it? So I'm gonna kill it with the V create. And now I've got boosted speed, so most of the things shouldn't be an issue. Um. Gonna go for a Draco Meteor. Oh, Koga Rayquaza. Rayquaza Giratina after the damage Stealth Rock did. Stinger is just gonna go straight down. Um. But yeah, how have you guys been finding the gym system in Pokemon Go? Because, I mean, I thought before Gen 2 was drop to it, everywhere would have a blissey, like a gym filled with blissey, but that doesn't seem to be the case, like I mean there are barely any blissey, I mean I saw my first Tyranitar gym the other day, but even then it was like second highest it wasn't, and there was only one in the gym so, I'd assume it was probably a lucky player or something. I found a wild Tita. It was decent CP, I think it was like 2300. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, it looks like this person's just quit. Um, but yeah, as you can see, 1231, that isn't probably would have been more helpful to use that time in like gen 7 OU or something but whatever but yeah this gen I've been getting a lot more into competitive like not just on showdown but in the game as well like I mean I've been going for decent IV Pokemon with decent natures like from memory I got a timid Manectric that was 4 IV and the one it was missing was 
special defense, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. And then there was a La Vesta that was almost, very almost 6 IV. It was just missing a little bit off speed, but like, you know. And, oh, also, I did a, I basically, I bred a thingy to competitive execute in Dream Balls. Um, I might do a giveaway of one of those on the channel at some point, if I can get around to it. Like, if I can work out how to do it without all of the, like, awkward issues that come with certain kinds of giveaway. Um, that and I don't know how to PM people, so, or DM, or whatever you call it on YouTube. So we're gonna miss the Draco Meteor. Um, from memory though, it has Giga Drain, Moonlight, some other things, I can't remember. It also has Harvest, so, and it's EV trend. So if you're interested in that, then let me know, and let me know in the comments if you've, like, how did I not? I was talking about how Flashfire is a generic thing for Caesar before, and then I just up and V-create it. Yeah, sure. Great logic, me. <laughs> So I'm gonna go into the Mega and I'm gonna protect. And I can get the to Toxic, no Flame Orb off. Then I can just. Um, it resists facade, so. I'm not too keen on trying that out. Surprised Diamond Storm didn't do more. But then I guess. Wait, Diamond Storm's physical, and I keep forgetting certain things like I think Diamond Storm is physical and then Grass Nut is special it's weird man some of this stuff so I'm gonna Oko this I will not well whatever I'll go down to Toxic next turn I'm going to so at this point I think I'm pretty much lost I mean, I guess I'll go for the Draco, but it's like, you know. So this put me to sleep, so there isn't really anything I can do, because I don't have anything for sleep. I guess I'll overheat, I mean, oh boy, Tail Glow Dialga. And before Aeroblast or something silly like that. See, that's the thing I love about this, though. About Balance Hatmans. It's like, you can do whatever you want. Almost. Like, I'm pretty sure Pure Power is banned. Same with Huge Power, because they're like, copies of each other just renamed. Um, also, I think Wonder Guard is banned. But apart from that, I think it's pretty much... You know. So, this is going to go for the Imprison. Like, there's no doubt about it. Um, oh, okay. Wait, no, because it transforms, so it can't Imprison, of course. Um, so, here is where Spectral Thingy comes in handy. Unless I just get wrecked right there. Well, at least it's dead now, so. Toxic finished it off, so that's good, I guess. There's really nothing I can do now. I should probably be running a rapid spinner, but I'm not, so. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Oblivion Wing will probably recover a lot more than I can until it, like, actually kills the Registeel, so, whatever. 
Should probably run a fire type move to make use of uh watch call it. Flash fire. Maybe flare blitz? But then it wouldn't need focus sash because it'd ruin it. Um Yeah, I dunno run. So that should yeah, that should kill. And next we have Cure and Black. We better cure and form in my opinion, but you know. Curum is just really cool in my opinion. GG to them. Left before I could type, but there we go. Um so we're gonna do one more. Oh one one other thing that I need to mention. Um if you see that oh boy, all of the mega ray quizzes. Um if you see a like if you're watching the video and it starts to freeze then that's a thing I guess um, I honestly don't know how to fix that I think it might be something to do with my computer being fairly old though so I don't know so if you have any like fixes for that that would be helpful Oh, isn't that nice of them? We're already saying bye. <laughs> I mean, I've done the main use thing took, so... I've done the main thing I needed shed for, so... Shedinja. Halo. Halo there. Halo there, my friend. Um, so yeah, just gonna go for the... Dragon Hammer. Topsy Tarvy won't affect me too much because it's defense. Um, or it will do, but like, I don't particularly need defense all too much. Or I do, obviously, but like, y you know. See, this is what happens when you say bye. After you get cocky for killing someone's Shedinja with leech life. Oh, uh, leech seed, sorry. Silly man. Anyway, so we'll do one more. Because I, I get I'll probably keep saying that, but I want to minimize the chance of it freezing up for you. Because I've noticed that... Um, I've noticed usually... Wait, Magic Coat bounces back Stealth Rock, what? Oh boy, okay. That's the thing, I guess. Um, but yeah, it seems to be the longer the video, the more it freezes. I don't really... The double Magic Coat, okay. This is why I need to run Rapid Spin. This right here. This right here is why I need to run Rapid Spin on something. I'd say probably Registeel. Maybe Shedinja go. I don't know. So that's just gonna destroy. I mean, it ignores ability, so Sturdy Shedinja really isn't an issue for it. Um, gonna, gonna take 25% from the stealth rock that got bounced back, because that was a thing. Oh boy, okay, this is gonna be a thing, do I have any priority? No, I don't. Okay then, I guess we'll just go into Salamence. I don't know, man. Um, I doubt I'm gonna win this just from how the start went. Because this person has a Zygarde complete form. And Zygarde complete form is just 
so destructive. Like, I mean, people never thought Zygarde was decent before, but oh my gosh, like, it's, it's decent physically because Earthquake, it can trap you in, it can hit flying types with ground type moves, it's fat, it, you know. So anyway, that's going to be the end of the Kira. Don't, I don't actually know how you pronounce that, I just call it Kira, because that's what I'm used to. Some people might call it Kira, that sounded no different, but whatever. Um, it's like Arceus, usually I say Arceus, people also say Arceus. I, I don't... What, are you calling me a noob or something? Like, I mean, speed time. Rip. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna Dragon Hammer and hope that I outspeed. Um, 306. Yeah, I haven't. I don't think. So hopefully I can take it. Up, oh, rip. Okay. That's that. So yeah, sorry if you hear some background noise. That's just my dog sitting on the chair next to me. I don't... Don't really... Right then. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about my dog making noise, so, you know. So, I've swapped its stats round, because it thinks it, uh, we're up, well, we're up. I was going to say it thinks it has the upper hand, but whatever. So, that's that. Got bodied in most of the things. I still have this background. So, like, if there's anything you guys think would be helpful on there, who can suggest it, I guess, because basically it started with just the terrains on, because I kept forgetting what they do, specifically grassy, but you know, then I added the status effects because Misty Terrain was all, of, all about like Preventing non-volatile status conditions that I'd never heard of before. And then it was like, oh, confusion berries are cool. And yeah, so... Something I was thinking of running is a gluttony set with a confusion berry, maybe a recycle. Because like... Like it says here, um, they restore half of your health when you're at a quarter health. Citrus berries do the opposite. They recover a quarter health when you're at half health. But if you have gluttony, you use it earlier so you can get half health back when you're at half health. And then if you use recover, not recover, recycle, and you can just do that as many times as you like, as long as you don't get taunted. And then... Thing. That's literally the only useful... That's the only time I've found gluttony useful. I've hated it every other time. Like, I tried running one of the simi monkeys in my... I think it was my white playthrough, because Zekrom's cool. Um, well, yeah, I remember. It had gluttony and it was really awkward. I think it was a semi sage. No, it wasn't. It was semi poor because I started with Snivy. Anyway, so if you have any ideas for the background, then yeah, let me know. Also, just like, you know, how's life in it? Just talk about whatever you want within reason in the comments. Obviously, don't go into the whole hate speech crap, but like, 
you know, because you see a lot of hate speech around hate hate speech. I can't talk. Um, you see it around a lot, and you don't really need to add to it. So, whatever. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions for my team as well that I've been using. Um, the EV thing is pretty cool. I must say. Like, I thought because it was balanced Akmons that you couldn't just max everything out, but it looks like you can, so that's cool. Anyway, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed, and I'll stop rambling now, and see you in the next video.